on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. I haven't heard I haven't heard that song in so long. And that that's that sums up this this eternal struggle right now. I am on the road again. Just grinding. Grinding. I have I have been I have been in the Dark Moon Blade for about three hours now. Haven't been summoned once. Cause no one is no no one no one is part of the Way of the Blue, so there's no one for me to join because why would there be members of the Way of the Blue? Oh my god, let's just get the song. Let's just get it on up in here, up in here. The things I do, the things I do for law, I don't. Ah, uh, it does. It to anyone else, it wouldn't matter this much, but it matters to me, and I'm not sure that's a good thing. I just, I just want, I just want to read the item descriptions. I could, I could look online. I could just cheat and look online and say that, like, that's it. Because the descriptions are most likely on. The descriptions for all the guys are most likely online, as well as probably speculation by other people. But I just, I just want to have the legitimacy of getting out myself and showing them off and talking about it. I want to show off the Dark Moon Ring that you get and the uh, Dark Moon Blade Miracle. Oh. And I know that um, when you talk to Yoshka, she gives more lore about um, God, what is it? about how Gwendolyn is her brother which means that that she is a child of Gwyn which brings in the question why is she part dragon if she's a child of Gwyn and not Guinevere and Seif which could then bring into speculation then that if uh, if Yoshka is Gwendolyn's sister and then therefore Guinevere's sister and is also part dragon then it stands to reason that Priscilla is also brother. Well, is also a sisters to Gwendolyn and Guinevere. Or we could stand to reason that I don't. Maybe after all this time, that Priscilla isn't actually a child of Seif and Guinevere, but is in fact the child of Seif and maybe Gwyn, Gwyn's wife. I guess because how else would like for Yoshka to be part of dragon and also Gwyn's child. What? No, not. I don't even know, because she says father Gwyn, but Gwyn ain't dragon. So there's a chance that Seif and Gwyn's wife did some shit, and that resulted in Yoshka. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe Gwyn and Seif did some shit together, because like Gwyn's wife is never mentioned to my knowledge, but. They have, but children have to be born from somewhere. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe, maybe Priscilla is a secret uh, sibling to Pris uh, to Guinevere and Gwendolyn. But then the question would be, why is it that Priscilla was hidden away in a painted world? Whereas Yoshka apparently was just allowed to roam free with no problem. Unless... I don't know. Maybe it's because Yoshka looks more human where Priscilla looks more dragon-like. And... And, there, and therefore it was harder to hide the fact that she was a half-breed. Whereas Yoshka, although she has a tail and some scales on her face and pointed ears. She's still relatively human-like by comparison. Like she isn't just covered in fur, like Priscilla was. I don't know. I honestly, God, don't know. There might, there might be cut. There's always cut dialogue for like almost every NPC, so there might be cut dialogue, or cut item descriptions, or something that probably goes into that more. I don't know at the moment. I'm just, I'm just sitting here trying to think. Because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I've been doing this for so long. 
I've been doing this grinding shit for so long that my mind is just slowly melting. I can't go on. This just needs to end soon. I, I feel like I'm dying. Oh god, I feel like I'm dying. I put so much time and effort into this shit. So much fucking time and effort into this shit. I wonder, I wonder actually if it would be better for me to go down, back down the lift thing, because there's like five or six silver knights down there, but it takes longer to get to them all, and they, and most of them have bow and arrows. Would that be, would that be better than just grinding these three over and over again? I'm not sure. Maybe. It all provide some variety to my life I guess if I did that but it could also just be a waste of time and I'm not willing to waste time I want to get things over quickly because this is long as fuck <sighs> ah well, well, well we'll see how it goes we'll see how life how life takes me Ugh. Is it even my worth? Is it even worth my time killing this guy because of how much extra time he takes? It might just be better just to kill those first two over and over and just ignore this guy. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know anything anymore. My brain is just. Oh boy. And what's really annoyed me, because of how long this has taken, I'm probably not going to have enough time to record more Dark Souls until like I don't know like like this ep this episode episode 20 is gonna come out and I'll have nothing else to be fair I won't want anything else because at this point I feel like I'm done playing Dark Souls for a bit it's, it's, this has stopped being fun a while ago it stopped being fun days ago uh, but there's not a there's not a lot of the game left, and thankfully this is the only tedious part of the game I'd say. This and no, oh, just this. I'm trying to think of like an area coming up that I dislike or something, but nah, there's no areas. There's a boss coming up that I don't particularly like. There's a boss. There's another boss coming up as hard as balls, but nothing tedious. So I can I can pretty much say that this is the only part of this entire. Uh, I was gonna say project, but that sounds that makes it sound too weird. So I'm just gonna say series. This is the only part of this series that I've actively not enjoyed. It's just this grinding shit. Like even going in areas I don't like, fighting enemies I don't like. I still enjoyed the thing overall. It's just this covenant grinding is the only part I have actively disliked and not enjoyed. And I have only myself to blame, because I easily could have just not done it. I could have easily just mentioned the stuff, and then gone online, pulled up pictures, like I did for um, the Hidden Blessings from Dark Souls 1. I could just pull up the picture of the item descriptions and just read it for you, but nah. I've actively chosen to do this, and therefore it's my own fault. I did this to myself. Ah. <sighs> Shake that ass for me, come on, shake that ass for me. Come on, gal, drop your ears for me. Come on, drop your ears for me. The silver knight bitch, drop your ears for me. Come on, now drop your ears for me. Come on, now drop, drop your ears for me. I don't. For whatever reason, shake your ass for me, it's been in my head all day. As well as, um. That, that new. That new dank meme that's come out of the Dark Souls community. Drum, don't drop that pumper rump. Don't drop that pickle pee. Fucking turn in the crow of Dark Souls 3 into a rap sensation. The dankness is too strong for this game. When I came across that, I laughed so hard it was like it was it was brilliant. Just don't drop that pumper rump. No, don't drop that pickle pee. It was perfect. It was perfect. Uh, 
It says a lot about my mental state when that is when that can make my day. <sighs> oh, I'm just I'm just I'll be honest, I'm I'm only recording this because as you as you've seen now, because this is I go this is being recorded after I recorded the first ones. But I decided to record bits of my PV, one of my PvP, my um, Covenant adventures, and just make it its own like a mini series. And and I just, I, just, I figured since I'm never going to be um, summoned for the Blade of the Dark Moment, I need to record something for the um, proof proof of Concord kept, I believe it is. So here it is. This is uh, what did I name it? Covenant Chronicles. That was it. So this this is I'm basically just sitting here doing this, just talking for the sake of making that video, and also because my my own sanity. Like I I sat in silence for so long grinding all these. There were times it were like with the Mad Phantom one where I was in Skype calls with friends, but Sunbro, Swordgrass, Pale Tongue. Uh, one more I'm missing. Probably shackle human dregs. That was it. Human dregs. Actually, no, cause human dregs was out, was over pretty quick. But basically, every covenant grinding I've been doing, apart from Mad Phantom, because I was in the Skype call for some of it, I have been sitting in silence. If I'm music playing, like in my headphones, but I've been sat in silence just just doing this shit and honestly I think sitting in silence just made it worse for me because uh, yeah, it just it just emphasized the laborious nature the tedium going on with my soul the torment I had to go through and I'm still going through it but it's almost over there is a light at the end of this tunnel. There's a Concord gap, yay. There's, there's a light at the end of this tunnel. It is drawing ever closer, and I shall reach it one day. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, I have climbed the mountaintop. I have seen on the other side. And on the other side were Covenant Rewards. Sweet, sweet, juicy covenant rewards. I believe was the was the exact quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Few few people realise this, but he was Martin Luther King was actually a big Dark Souls fan. Some might say he was the original Dark Souls fan. Like he, he he was all about the law. Little little known fact about Martin Luther King. He he was the guy to figure out most of the law. For Demon Souls and Dark Souls One. What the fuck am I talking about? I. I I, 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 I don't know. My brain just went there and kept going. It was like a snowball effect. It just it just rolled and then it just kept rolling, and it just kept rolling, and I just went with it. Malcolm X would be a Bloodborne player. <laughs> if Martin Luther King's all about Dark Souls, Malcolm X would be a would be the guy that prefers Bloodborne. He'd be he'd be all about that Cthulhu shit, I think. I think Malcolm X would appreciate Cthulhu. And the Elder Gods. Not Martin Luther King though. He's he's more down to earth. He's he's more into he's more into standard law about kings and kingdoms and the fall of man. Actually no, because he's more about building men up. You know, you know what? Let's, let's let's divert from this topic of conversation because I I fear I can only make this worse if I carry on going. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shut up. This is this has been like what 15 minutes. I think this is good enough. I'm just gonna sh I'm just gonna shut up and go about my business. Oh boy.